So in this video, I will be showing you how to connect your Nikon camera to Snapbridge. This process applies to supported Nikon DSLRs, Copix, and mirrorless cameras. So the first step, you'd want to download the app from your app store. If you already have it, make sure that it's the latest version of Snapbridge. If you're not sure if it's the latest version or not, uh, then it's best to uninstall and reinstall the app. Once the app is installed, check the batteries for your camera to make sure that it's fully charged. Otherwise, the pairing process could fail. Once everything has been checked, press menu on the camera, go to the setup menu, which is the icon that looks like a wrench, and then select firmware version, which is usually the last option on the menu. Uh, so we'll go all the way down. Right, firmware version. Now, you'd want to make sure that you have the latest version of uh, the firmware before starting the pairing process. Because if your camera is not up to date, if Snapbridge is not up to date and your batteries are not fully charged, the pairing process could fail. If you don't have the latest version or if you're not sure if your firmware is the latest version, uh, please check out my video, how to update your firmware uh, before continuing on with this process. Uh, once you've confirmed that the firmware is up to date, we can now start the pairing process. So press, go to menu, the setup menu, and then go to connect to smart device. Press OK. You're going to say, you're going to click on pairing Bluetooth. And then you're going to say start pairing. Okay, so now this screen that you see where it gives you your camera's info and the serial number, leave that as is for now and open Snapbridge. If this is the first time that you are opening Snapbridge, it was going to ask you if you like Snapbridge to access your photos, you say OK. Uh, we'd like to use Bluetooth, uh, we have to say OK. Download app data, you just say yes to it, it's just going to update very quickly, and then we start. Okay, uh, accept your application license agreement, we say yes and start. And it's just going to give you a quick as to what to do, just say connect to camera. Snapbridge is automatically going to find your camera. Just make sure that the number is showing on your camera and Snapbridge are the same. Okay, so once you confirm, you just select your camera itself and pair with camera. You say understood. It's going to say connecting to camera. Please wait. All right, it's going to say select an accessory. The accessory that you would want to select is your camera itself. In my instance, I'm using a Z6, which is why I'm showing Z underscore 6 underscore over serial number. Uh, so once I've confirmed again that uh, serial number showing and what's on my camera are the same, I just say uh, it's selected on Snapbridge. Uh, now the pairing request, uh, make sure that it's the same pairing code. And you're going to say pair on the phone and OK on your camera. So pair on the phone, OK on the camera. In this little step, you don't want to delay too much because if you delay too much, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to fail the pairing process. Right? So you want to be pretty quick at that. Right? So now it looks like the phone is connecting. And it's gonna, it might say again, pairing request, just say pair. Auto link, you actually want to leave, put this on. The reason why you have auto link on is because if you turn off your camera and turn it back on a few days later, you want Snapbridge to automatically find your camera. You don't want to go through this process again. So you say auto link on, right? And then you can say auto download, check that on. Uh, if you want to synchronize the clock, uh, if you travel a lot or you're doing this because you're traveling and you want the pictures to reflect the time and the place that you are at, then you say synchronize clocks because then you'll show 
that time and not the time of your uh, where you live. Uh, synchronized location data. That if you want your if you're using Snapbridge to take pictures, right? Then your pictures in the data of your pictures is going to show where you were at that time. But that's only if you're using Snapbridge to take pictures. If you're using your if you're taking pictures directly from your camera, it's not going to show you the location data unless you have the proper accessories for it. All right. So now I'm going to leave everything checked off. I'm going to say done on Snapbridge, personal information and so on. Then I'm going to say OK. Uh, depending on your location, I'm also going to say OK. Pairing complete say OK to that. So now as you can see on the camera it says connected to smart device and then over here it's also connected to my device. Uh, I'm not going to do any of that. Snapbridge will like to send you notifications. I'm going to say don't allow. I don't want to be bothered. Right. So here you have it. This is how you can connect Snapbridge to your camera. Um, it's quite an easy process. You just have to follow it step by step. Make sure everything is up to date in order for it to work. So I hope you liked this uh, video. If you have any comments or questions, you can actually write to us uh, down below. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can bring you more videos of how to use your camera and uh, useful features to it. Thank you.